Hello and welcome to Pocket NC's Q-Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to cover four common maintenance tasks that you can do to keep your machine running smoothly. We're going to start things off with the most effective maintenance item on the list, cleaning. The best thing you can do for your machine is clean it regularly. It is a good idea to thoroughly vacuum your machine after each part you make. This includes moving the machine around to different positions so that you can reach all the different cracks and crevices. If you are cutting material that produces a fine dust, it is also good to wipe down the bearing rails and lead screws. We do not recommend using compressed air to clean off the machine as it can force chips into places they shouldn't be. Next up is checking the linear rail covers. It is a good idea to regularly check that the covers on all your machine's linear rails are still securely fastened down. This is easily done by lightly rubbing a finger on the corner of each rail. A loose rail cover can cause a variety of issues, so if you discover that one has come up, follow these steps to re-adhere it to the rail. Begin by gently lifting the rail cover and scraping the old adhesive off the rail. Not all the old adhesive has to come off, but the more you can remove, the better. Then wipe the rail and rail cover with isopropyl alcohol. Next, you can apply a low viscosity adhesive to the rail. We use Loctite 496. It is important that you get adhesive to the very end of the rail so that it is less likely to peel up again. Once the adhesive has been applied, lay the cover back down and wipe the rail with a cloth covered in isopropyl alcohol to clean up any adhesive that gets squeezed out. It is good to do this several times, making sure that no adhesive is left in the grooves on the side of the rail. Maintenance tip number three is greasing the end of the lead screws. While adding grease to the end of your machine's lead screws doesn't necessarily improve performance, it does reduce the chance of your machine making an unpleasant squeaking noise during rapid moves. White lithium grease works well for this. Simply add a small dab to the end of each linear axis lead screw where it is captured in the frame of the machine and then wipe off any excess. And last, but certainly not least, the fourth maintenance tip is to shut down and unplug your machine when it's not in use. Whenever the machine is not going to be used for a period of six hours or longer, it is good practice to disconnect the USB cable and turn the power switch to off. This allows the machine to completely shut down and, on older machines, keeps log files from filling up the machine's disk space and causing connection issues. Well, that does it for this Q-Tip Tuesday. Keep these tips in mind when using your Pocket NC machine and it'll live a long and healthy life. For questions on this or anything else Pocket NC related, feel free to reach out. Until next time, happy machining.